Hey, what's up YouTubers? This is Matt and today I'm going to show you how you can get text message notifications and email notifications using your Twilio enabled phone numbers. One of the biggest challenges I've had as a text marketer in the past with using Twilio is that it seems like there are some really complicated uh, things you have to learn as far as coding or you've got to understand API integrations to utilize Twilio and get notified when someone sends a message to your Twilio number. Well, those days are gone. And today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get this done. And I mean quickly and easily. And I'll show you how you can do it absolutely free. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to do is take you over to automate.io. Now, a lot of people have used Zapier, and I have in the past as well, but there are a couple of issues, and this is why I prefer Automate.io over Zapier. So Zapier, or Zapier, or however in the heck you say it, has a great platform. The challenge is you, uh, your notifications take at a minimum of 15 minutes to get across. If you're using text messaging for lead generation or conversations with a customer, you don't necessarily want those delays to take that doggone long before you connect with somebody. They might have moved on to one of your competitors. Automate.io gives you free notifications. They do a good amount of them, and let me show you what their pricing looks like. So with Zapier also, you get 100 what they call zaps, meaning 100 notifications or pushes or things like that connected to your inbound messaging. With Automate.io, they give you 300 monthly actions, that's what they call them, and you can set up five different types of actions. Plus, they do it in five minutes instead of 15 minutes. Now, if you move up to their personal plan, they give you up to 600 actions, uh, and 10 of those um, bots is what they call them, uh, the equivalent of like the Zapier plans that you put together. Uh, so there's some really great stuff that they do here. So that's why I'm a fan of this. But I'm going to log in. I'm going to show you exactly how to create one of these awesome bots to get a text notification from Twilio, and I'll show you how to get email notifications from Twilio. So here we go. All right, we're logged in my account, and one thing you'll notice when you first sign up is they're going to offer you different things like, hey, what are some tools that you use so they can recommend bots to you? Just click a whole bunch of them that you use, but then ignore it all because it's fast and easy to do it the way that I'm gonna show you. First things first, you're gonna click create a bot. Once you click create a bot, the first thing you gotta do is decide what do you want to trigger the bot. So uh, I'm gonna choose this Twilio account here, and under this Twilio account, it says, select the trigger event. I'm gonna say when a new SMS is received. Now, before you move on over here, you're gonna choose which number of your Twilio numbers you want this event to be triggered on. I'm gonna choose my local number here in Tennessee. So I've got my local number selected. We've got our inbound message to this number. That's what I want to trigger the action. And now what action do I want triggered? Well, you know what? I want to receive an email. Now, you can utilize their email system here, but if you're a Gmail user or a G Suite user, I highly recommend connecting it to your Gmail account because it 100% works that way. You'll notice sending it from their email server is still in beta. If you're going to send yourself a text message notification, you just click on your Twilio account again here. It says, what action do you want done? I want to receive a text message. And so I'll choose the Twilio number to send it from, which is the same one that's receiving. And then down here in the to field, I'm gonna put what phone number I wanna have receive this message. So I'm gonna put in here, uh, 269-849-9494. Uh, oops, excuse me, plus one. You need to put the plus and your country code before the number, just so you know. So make sure you do that to get this going the right way. All right, so you've got your phone number in there with the country code. Now down below in the body, this is what's going to be sent to you via text message. So uh, in the message, you can start typing what you want. I like to say this, new message from, and then I'm gonna click the plus sign, and I'm gonna choose the message from number. This will show me the phone number of the person who sent the message. Then I'm gonna put this, message, and a colon again, and then I'm gonna click this sign, and I'm gonna say message, body. Now I'm going to receive a text message that shows me the phone number and whatever the person typed in the message body. So whatever they texted to my Twilio number, I can now have it forwarded right to my mobile phone so that I know who sent me what and I know their phone number. So if I want, I can click and call them back. But I'm not just going to stop 
there. And by the way, um, if it says send large messages, choose yes. That way it will send you more than one message. If you choose no, it'll cut it off at 160 characters. So make sure you select yes under send large messages. And keep this in mind, when it does this, it's forwarding you a message from your Twilio account. So it is using Twilio credits. Okay, now if we also want to get an email notification or you want an email notification instead of text, you can simply add another action. I'm going to say send a message via Gmail. What's the action I want done? I want an email sent. Who do I want it from? I'm going to send it from my own Gmail account. And oops, I'm going to say uh, new Twilio message received. That's the from name, just so I can see it as the uh, the name it's from when I look in my inbox labels. And I'm just going to put my own uh, email address in here. Now you can put the plus sign, oops, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to type it in here really quick. And then uh, who do I want this to go to? You don't have to put a to name in here, but I'm just going to put me. And then down here, what address do I want it to go to? I want it to go to the exact same address that I'm sending it from because I'm sending a message notification from me to me. Now, if you want to copy people, like let's say you're looking at lead notifications, maybe you're managing this for a client, uh, maybe you'll put their email address in the to address and maybe you'll BCC yourself. But down here, you don't have to put a reply to address or any of that. Subject, you've got to put in there, I'm going to say new Twilio message. And then down here under email type, I'm going to leave it as plain text. Now in the email body, I'm going to put the same thing, new message from and then I'm gonna click this little plus sign and I'm going to scroll down and put message from number so that it puts in the phone number of the person that sent the message. I'm gonna put a new line, I'm gonna say message uh, content and then I'm gonna put a colon and I'm just gonna click the plus sign again, scroll down and I'm going to choose message body. Now I hit save and my bot is live as soon as I click the on switch. Now I can send test data, but if you're going to test it with live data, you have to send yourself a text first. If you don't wanna send yourself a text first before saying I'm done, you can click enter sample data that will pre-fill whatever sample data you want and then you can hit run test that way you can let it check the system and look, boom, it received it, it sent it, and now it's sent it to the text, which I just received, and it performed the email test. It says bot's good to go, I click go to bot list, and boom, that automation is done. That is how easy it is to get notifications from your Twilio text messaging account sent to your mobile phone and your email. If you liked this, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll share more great tips with you in the future.